Hello gorgeous glamorous girls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be an exciting video where I get through some of your most requested content. My everyday makeup routine. You guys always ask me for this and I'm going to be answering a bunch of your frequently asked questions. Okay, this took me ages. I scoured through all my old DMs and wrote down everything that you guys have said to me recently. There was a lot of stuff. I have a full list, but we'll get through it. I'm drinking this Naked Life calming drink. These things are my favorite. Like, it's Friday afternoon right now. I'm not having a cocktail. Obviously, I never drink before five o'clock. Unless it's a special occasion. <laughs> um, but this thing, this calming drink has like magnesium, passion flower extract and a bunch of things that I cannot pronounce. Random ingredients and it's all natural and they all naturally make you feel calm. So this is my new hyper fixation of the moment. Let's get into the makeup, shall we? I don't think that this is going to be groundbreaking news to everyone, but the first step of my makeup routine is applying a glowy base and I use Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in number four medium, which is also another asked question that I get all of the time. What is my first question? How old am I? I'm 23 years old and I have been creating content on TikTok since I was 20, the TikTok account that you guys all follow is not my first TikTok account, <laughs> but you can't find my first one because it's deleted. <laughs> the next thing that you guys ask me all the time is about my fashion school experience, which fashion school did I go to, tips for people who are trying to get into fashion school. So let's talk about it. I went to a private fashion college in Sydney and it's called the Fashion Institute. And my course was a one year course and you graduated with a diploma of fashion business. It was compulsory as part of the course to do an internship. I did an internship at two very famous, probably the most famous fashion magazines. I'm going in now with foundation. I'm using Rimmel London Kind and Free in the shade 201 classic beige i would normally for my everyday makeup routine use covergirl skin milk in shade medium but this one's out so i need to get a new one this is kind of like my backup foundation when i first started at fashion school all i wanted to do was journalism fashion journalism was like my thing that I was obsessed with. Going on now with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is the next step in my routine. Then, okay, next question. What did I do after fashion school? So after fashion college, I went to work for an Australian cosmetics company and started my beauty journey. This was what really got me into social media. I started at this cosmetics company at the same time as the new social media manager who had just come over from the UK and we became friends because we caught the same bus to work. <laughs> I was in a reception and admin role. So I had a lot of free time on my hands because the phones weren't ringing all day. A lot of the time I was just like sitting there waiting for an email to come through. She said to me, do you want to help me with some social media stuff as well? And I was so excited at the time. I was like, oh my God, I just fell in love with social media. I'm going in with this Emco Beauty Instant Contour Wand in shade light medium now. Yeah, I ended up leaving the company in COVID. And then from there, I started working for a UGC content creation agency. And at the time I was also freelance modeling. I went to model for the company who I previously worked for and they needed help with social media and ended up offering me a job on the day of my shoot. So that's how I ended up working with them for over a year. So my tips for anyone who wants to get into the fashion industry, aside from going to fashion college, I say this to everyone who DMs me about this. The most important thing in the fashion industry is not about education. It doesn't matter what subjects you take in school or at uni. Literally the most important thing is that you get experience and you network, 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 network. I'm now going in with this is a new addition to my makeup routine. Revolution Blush and Highlight Stick in shade Mauve Mauve? Shade Mauve Glow. 
This is such a pretty color. Literally every time I wear this now, people compliment my blush. My next question, how I met my boyfriend. This is a nice topic that I'm happy to talk about. My boyfriend and I went to high school together and he had been at the high school since day one. I came late in 10th grade. He was in the year above me and he was one of the cool boys. And one day I was walking to the toilet from art class and he stopped me and he goes hey Scarlett you're really pretty and I was so embarrassed at the time because I was a kid I was just blushing and I was like thank you and then we didn't talk again for ages that's how we met I'm baking with Huda Beauty loose powder in the shade pound cake how long have my boyfriend and I been dating we got together in the summer of 2015 I'm so bad at maths. 2015, 2016, 2017, 20... Eight years. But we did break up. He was so dedicated. Buy me gifts, make me Spotify playlists, all this stuff to say like he wanted to get back together months after. And yeah, it was really romantic. I fell for it. We got back together. That was in 2019, the start of 2019. I'm going in now with the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade 255 Soft Brown. And then to set it, I use the Fluff Up Brow Wax by Benefit. So my favorite clothing brands, I buy stuff from Princess Polly, Cider, um, White Fox Boutique, Miss Lola, I love Miss Lola's clothes. Addicted have great, cute, girly pieces. I do get a lot of stuff from Zara and H&M, but that's something that I do when I go to the shops and I actually like go in and try them on. I would not buy Zara or H&M online. And Supre and Cotton On, I get a lot of good basics from. Next question is my hair wash routine. <sighs> this is a lot to get into. <laughs> this is all linked in my OTK. So you can shop everything directly, but I use R and Co shampoo and conditioner. I use K18 serum. You've heard me talk about this a million times because I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's literally like transformed my hair. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. Sorry. It's so hard answering the questions and doing this at the same time. Covergirl Clean Color Palette in shade 222 Dreamy Pink. This shade here. And then for shimmer shade on the lid i'll use that one at the end my travel plans i think by the time this video is uploaded i will have told you guys that i'm moving back to my hometown next now i'm probably already there right now <laughs> i want to save to travel and that's not the only reason that like there are a few reasons why i'm moving back because the rent was going up so significantly on my apartment here in sydney and it was just, it's just this crazy for what it is. I live in a two bedroom apartment right now and they're literally pricing it at, you, I don't even know if I want to say, like it's so crazy, but like all the two bedroom apartments around here are $1,000 plus every week. And it just seems astronomical that to pay that amount of money on rent, like somewhere to live, it's crazy. My camera just died and I low key forget what I was just saying. Anyway, I'm going in with my Lash Therapy Australia Eyelash Curler. That's the next step. Also use this L'Oreal White Coal Eyeliner to line my lower lash line. And then for mascara, at the moment I use Benefit Bad Gal Bang. So travel plans, I don't have anything fully happening. I have a few things in the works. You know, with travel plans, I'm not really someone who plans things so far in advance. Like... I wish I was that person, but I'm kind of a fly by the seat of my pants type of girl. But as soon as I know and it's booked, I will let you guys know. My favorite perfume is another question that I get frequently. Um, I'll just show you because I'm here. Hotel Paradise. I wear this one all the time. It's my pure soul. This is the perfume they sent me that was like Serena Vanderwoodson inspired. Um, in the summertime, I love Paco Rabanne Olympia. I wear this one so much. I wore it all throughout Europe last year. Now it just reminds me of being in Paris. So I only have a tiny bit left and I don't want it to become empty. I wear 
Zara Red Temptation as a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. I used to wear the real one, but I can't afford that. It's so expensive. And to be honest, expensive perfume is just not at the top of my expenses priority right now. So the next thing I do now is um, brush off all this excess powder that I was previously baking with. I go in with NARS Laguna Matte. I love this bronzer and it's super pigmented on my cheekbones, my forehead and my nose. Like I use it as a contour and a bronzer kind of. Mellow Cosmetics in Pinky Promise. This one came in an influencer goodie bag. I've talked about blush placement on TikTok. It, the most important step is, in my beauty routine is blush. And I apply it on the high points of my cheekbones. And I also put it on the bridges of my nose. Um, at the moment, I'm using Revolution Dare to Divulge Highlighter. Highlighter is one of those things that you literally do not need an expensive one. The amount of times I've literally just used an eyeshadow as highlighter, like little baby brush, and I put it on my nose, corner of my eye. Blend that up so it's like lifting the eye, not dragging it down. My friend Crystal K Makeup taught me this trick. You do a little bit on the high point of your cheekbone, the apple of your cheek, blend it out a little bit, and it makes you look more snatched. Now, the last step, which brings us to another question that I wrote down, which is your everyday lip combo. I stole this from my mum's purse, and it's so good, and it lasts all day. Estee Lauder Double Wear Lip Liner. I've used this gown so much, I don't even know if I can read the colour on this. Oh, yes, I can. 015 blush. I mix it up a lot, but I would say my most used lipstick is MAC Cream Cup. Victoria's Secret Pink Mimosa Gloss on top. Yeah, I have one more question to answer, and I needed my phone for this one. So, TV show recommendations, I get asked that all of the time. This is in no particular order. Gossip Girl, The OC, 90210, the new version. Sex in the City, Gilmore Girls, Pretty Little Liars. The Vampire Diaries, The Carrie Diaries, Jane by Design, The Summer I Turned Pretty, Younger, The Bold Type, The Sex Lives of College Girls, Euphoria, and Desperate Housewives. And I'm now adding to that list One Tree Hill because I just started watching it and it's so good. My boyfriend and I are obsessed. We literally watch it every single day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wanna keep creating as many videos as I can, so please support me with a subscribe and it will make me so happy. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.